Hello and welcome back to Citizen Sleeper. How are you doing? Um, we're making quite a lot of progress. I'm not sure towards what exactly. Um, but we are. I'm tempted. I'm still tempted on this derelict unit. I'm not sure. It's risky. And so if I was to um, upgrade my stat, my endure stat, which is my worst stat, um, it would... I don't know. I, I guess, like, I, I get the impression this is the kind of game that has multiple methods of, or, or paths, and the derelict ship doesn't necessarily have to be our only choice. Um, so I'm actually totally comfortable with just leaving it for now and um, treating it as an option later. The fact that it takes Endure to work on that ship tells me that that is not, not the path that this character you know has to take it, it feels to me like it's not the intended path i know that that the, there doesn't um there doesn't need to be necessarily intended paths but i definitely get the impression that there are um encouraged paths like there if you have skills then there are going to be methods that take advantage of those skills and i think that if uh you know repairing the derelict ship is kind of discouraged from this you know the point of view of this character then then we don't necessarily have to take that route and i don't have to spend points on uh improving the one stat that i'm not good at i think i'd rather just continue not being good at that stat and maybe in improve other things um i do think it's kind of a shame um because you know we you know we spent scrap repairing that derelict but uh it's not the end of the world and um it's certainly not going to make a difference either way um i do think i would like to work on um getting this self-repair although like we've got two stabilizers so it's really only going to matter much later but either way i'd like to start hoarding some points uh so that uh you know we 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 have options later so i'm not exactly sure what we're doing right now um disable your tracker help feng chase his leads i'm not sure i guess okay we we are meeting feng up at the greenway later i think that that's something we're doing crack conway feng has located a conway facility buried deep in the waste he needs your help to crack it and expose hard meet feng in the greenway um Build a home we're going to forget about for now. Flotilla aid. Get to know Emphis. Win a side reel. I think we're just a work for Ra Rabia. Spend time as a Yadigan enforcer. Um, what does that look like? What are we doing to do that? Engage and intuit. Um, hmm. Seems working for Rabia is your best chance to get an insight into the organization. I don't know if this is something I really want to pursue. I just feel like there are other things that I am, I have, you know, like, I'm, my time is better spent elsewhere. So I'd rather work on this side reel um, for now. We have three threes, and they're all going to be fives, so that they're all positives. Vast colony ship is coming together block by block. Each cycle, you see another piece slot in place. Something tells me that this is like a... When this finishes, it, it may actually be uh, an end game, but it is—it's uh, good money for now. I don't—I I think I don't necessarily have to take this route if, uh, if and when we complete it. Um, we can definitely get some data. Oh, I don't—I don't know what I'm doing there. Let's go ahead and get some Havenage agent data. Still don't have anything to do with these encrypted keys. Not sure what's up with that. Might take a quick look in the greenway just to see. Like I didn't, I didn't spend any time looking at the data over here. So what do we have? Oh, it's completely dark except save for one thing. Greenway gate. This requires uh, a new type of cipher, it's a greenway cipher. Okay, so uh, my guess is that once we have Fang over here, Fang is going to go ahead and help us um, make, you know, 
make sense of this. But for now, uh, I guess we don't really have much to do. We're just kind of in between plot points right now. So let's go ahead and um, rest. We've spent her dice. We have nothing else left to do. And we'll only have three action dice this next day. I, I guess I could have spent a stabilizer. Having three dice kind of sucks. But we're in it now, so I may as well commit. We still have this thing here. We could... Uh, let's buy some scrap. And I think I will start um, hoarding scrap a little bit. Just a little bit. We have uh, offloading scrap. The freighter will stay docked for as long, as many cycles as it takes to offload its haul. Okay. And we have merchant freighter over here now. So this lets us buy ship mine fragments, which I'm really not sure why we need as many as we do. I have yet to come across a need uh, for, you know, we have two cores and I still haven't seen a use for any of those. Probably if I upgraded or repaired the derelict ship, it would require one of those. Caster's table. Do we have anything left to do with Caster? No, he's done. Can we make any more friends? I don't think we can. Uh, so I guess we're just spending our dice and uh, moving on. So let's go ahead and get some data. We are going to be seeing Hunter real soon. Five cryo. Five cryo, uh, in addition to the cryo we will get for selling the data. It is nice having a plus two interface. You just, you, you just almost guaranteed you can always hack something. And here is our hunter. Hunter perk icebreaker. Wait, what? Hey, wait a minute, what? How do I look at my character? I don't know why my character isn't showing up right now. Well, whatever. Um, we have a six. It would be nice to spend the six on something. All right, we'll do we'll do do work for Rabia. Why not? We'll do engage, collect tithes. Yadigan operates on an in kind basis. You are told, and tithes are of good or goods of or services must be collected in exchange for protection and administration. We got scrap components. So that's a way of getting scrap components. That's quite nice. And Yadigan Insider, is that... No, that's not uh, data. Oh, sorry, it, it, that's progress on the Yadigan Insider. Well, was that, was that not a positive? We only got one on Yadigan Insider? Weird. Okay. Um, so what's going on here? Is Ethan really still a problem? Ethan's Vendetta. I guess they are. Um, I guess they're a thread, a story thread that's going to continue. Which is fine. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Let's uh, end the cycle. Oh, we're starving. <clears throat> I should have eaten some food. My bad. Uh, oh, is this something new? Oh, no, that's just an empty dock. Uh, all right, let's go get grab some food I'm sure there's better ways of um, Like getting food in this game. I'm sure there is but also money is something I think that comes easy easily to an uh, interface based uh, sleeper, so I'm not too broken up about it. I think that at the end of the day, it's um, It's fine um, I'm gonna go ahead and spend my six here on whoops almost spent it at Minji's I meant to spend it at Rabia For some extra stuff extra goodies we've got a ton of like components and stuff like we could go to Like first of all, we could go to you Yadigan Whoops, this isn't what I want actually we could go and sell our um, Data 
Let's go sell some data. Why not? I'm sure there's reasons. But like, yeah, we, we get so much money that I, I think buying food is a perfectly reasonable way of, um, you know, doing things. I, I'm sure there's better ways. Once you've played this game a couple times, you understand better methods of doing things. Um, and I don't mind playing things unoptimally if that's really what's up. But we're at 110 uh, chits or whatever it is, cryo. So let's, uh, what is at the old rotunda? Oh, there's actually things to do here. Explore the rotunda. I really haven't done this. Interesting. Okay, well, why don't we do that then? Havenage watch list. Dock watcher. Steel dock plans. Uh, let's go ahead and explore the rotunda. Neutral outcome. That's fine. We could use a two. Nah, uh, let's use the two to collect more data. Okay, so here, hold on, operator. What is icebreaker? Agent nodes give double data rewards. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought, but like, why is it we're not seeing the hunter anymore? Like, whenever I see the bar fill up, it's just like, whatever. It, it, it we don't get hit by the hunter. Seems odd. Not sure what's up. Okay, um, let's sleep. And I'm gonna check on the green way tomorrow. Cause I'm pretty sure we're, we can now progress on Feng. So we've got something at Overlook Bar, first of all. Buy rations. Get a drink. If you're unsure if your frame can metabolize alcohol, but this fungal drink fermented along the green way, Seems like a good test. The Overlook isn't exactly a restaurant, meaning the only way you'll gain trust around here is with a stiff drink. Okay, we can try that. Plus one energy. Well, it gives us energy and we can progress this. There we go. Maybe we'll have a new character. The glass shatters on the steel bar beside you, and the taunts don't take long to follow. Hey, Haunt, the spacer calls across the low room. What are you doing here? He laughs at his own lame joke. Playing human? Ignore him. You hunch it a little further, staring at the hundreds of tiny impact points that scar the bar's surface. A hand falls on your shoulder, but as you flinch away, it pats reassuringly. You freeze in place. Out. The voice comes from behind you, spat out like a shot. You turn to see bright eyes, dark hair, a stare that could breach the wall and vent you all into hard vacuum. As you turn back to the spacer, this second glass comes sailing through the air. Catch. You reach up a hand and the glass shatters across your forearm, showering you in fragments. Through the haze of glass and gyral vapor, you see Tala leap the bar and close the distance to the spacer. The thud as he slams into the wall echoes around the bar like thunder. Now flanked by other figures quick to their feet, Tala throws the spacer out through the door and stands silhouetted against the rotunda lights. You touch your arm and it feels wet. Someone helps you to your feet and back onto your stool. Broken glass rattles as it is, as it, as it is cleared and a fresh measure of Girol is glugged out in front of you. Um, that same hand, warm, heavy, falls on your shoulder once more. He isn't coming back. We don't tolerate that kind of shit here. Tala flops onto the stool beside you. Let's get a look at you. Tala wipes the powdered glass from around the, the wound and someone places a bottle of alcohol and a metal tin with tweezers on the bar. She disinfects them and then turns to you. That was an ambitious catch, she smiles, pulling a sil sliver of glass from your forearm. Stupid, but ambitious. You don't feel the pain, only the sting. A string of status messages your body delivers concerning dermal damage and exposed structures. You do feel the care, though, as Tala's bright eyes search your thick synthetic skin for splinters. Watch her. 
Tala works with the skill of someone who has had to pick glass splinters from the skin of a stranger before. She hones in on each bright shard all the time tapping the tweezer tweezers tips in little rhythms that only she can follow. Tala smiles to herself. So you being on the eye along? Long enough. She laughs. Hey, you don't need to act tough with me. A splinter clinks into the tin. Not everyone is like that idiot. We don't all hate you. She glances around. Some of the regulars, maybe they fear you. Maybe they're just curious. I don't know, but I do know that the Overlook is a safe place. I know that it's... I know what it's like to be new in this place, trust me. She meets your eye. I'm not trying to convince you of anything or separate you from your chits. I just want you to know that if you need some uh, need somewhere, you can always come here. I know the rations we've got aren't much and the company is... Uh, she leans in. Limited. But if you need work, I'll happily put you behind the bar, and if you need shelter, well, we can discuss that. You'll be safe. I usually have Francis on the door, but he's up in the greenway this cycle, haggling with our supplier. Francis tends to be particular about what we serve, even if the ch uh, clientele isn't. She places her tweezers in the tin with a clink. That's you, sleeper. Here. She slides the glass of Girol to you. This'll help. She stops, her hand still on the glass. Wait, does this help? I mean, can you get drunk? Let's find out. She laughs. Just don't sit here too long. I'd hate to see you become a real regular. She walks back around the bar, gathering the glasses as she does. And before long is retelling how she threw that spacer out to a new group that just wandered in, complete with dramatic actions. She gestures in your direction and you instinctively look away, back to the worn surface of the bar. You take a sip of the girl. The earthy fungal tones fill your senses, almost blocking out sight and sound, like diving headfirst into a bog. You may not be able to get drunk, but this connection to something grown, something fermented, something old, feels good. Heck yeah, bud. So we've got access to the rotunda. Um, oh, I see. Explore the rotunda. We already had access to the rotunda. We have access to the overlook bar. Um, and we can progress on this good service. Overlook clientele can be a tough crowd, but you have Tala's backing, and that means a lot. I could do a bar shift if I want. I don't think I do. I don't know. Tala seems cool. Let's go to the Greenway and see if we can progress something. Uh, okay, we, we have to wait one more before we can do, um, Feng's quest. Oh, we could have uh, made progress on this. Shoot. Works a canteen. Works a grow beds. Grow beds are at the heart of the commune, feeding the members and fueling their lab work. You are invited to assist in maintaining them. Newcomers to the commune can work uh, within the canteen, preparing and serving food for those that make the compound their home. I wouldn't mind doing this, and that means I, I think I would like to put points into engage. Um... Thrill Seeker. I kind of, uh, I don't feel like I am a Thrill Seeker, honestly. I feel like I'm into it. Approach problems problems with awareness. I feel like I'm into it, and if I was going to be role-playing this character specifically, like picking things specifically for role-playing, then I would probably do into it. But I kind of feel like I should double down on Engineer. Not for any other reason other than that it's something my character seems like attracted to so why don't we just throw raw rolls up to work the canteen um, we can throw a three at it 25% chance of a negative outcome neutral outcome nice that actually gives us double double plus uh, double plus for some reason I'm not sure why and, uh, oh, we've got a new drive. Um, Crack Conway? No. Um, I don't know what's up. Something commune? I don't know what our new drive is. Join the Haifa Commune. The Haifa Commune meets the needs of its members in exchange for work. Could you find a home here? 
I feel like there's definitely going to be an option at some point to, to either stay at the eye and, you know, find a place here or to leave. And I'm not sure where I stand with that. It really is going to... Um, it, it's really going to depend on what that decision looks like. Like, am I staying for a reason? Am I, you know, or... Like, is there anything for me here? There seems to be, like, it, it's a weird because the, the, the eye, the, the story makes it feel like the eye is supposed to be this very inhospitable place. But the only person that I've met that has been inhospitable has been someone who came to the eye, has been someone that didn't live here. Almost everyone I've met has in some way reached a handout. The only person that, like, turned me away was Dragos and that was after he helped me so I I think it's a little bit um it's like when you know your GM tells you that you know your world is very harsh but you find nothing but good things you know uh either way I mean that like, yeah like someone threw a glass at me that sucks we're going to go ahead and sta use a stabilizer now because the next cycle we're going to be at um, two and I don't want to be at two. So um, we're at five and six. So we're going to go to the Greenway because our Fang quest is going to be open and I'm pretty sure that's going to need some work. Oh, is it still not? I really thought it. It was. Never mind. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're going to work on the commune. I'll throw a five and a six on this. Oh, why did I do endure? That was dumb. Negative outcome. Oh, God damn it. Why did I do that? Oops. Plus three hypha member plus two energy. It's nice that um, certain things are giving us energy now. And let's go ahead and get some more data. I, uh, I really thought that um, when we opened up that we were just going to be able to scroll along the eye But you have to you have to press that button every time. I mean, it's not a big deal, but It almost kind of feels jarring Okay, let's get some yet again data. Why not? I'm sure we're gonna use it at some point Okay and we're sleeping for one more cycle. We'll have six turns, six actions, which is nice. It's always nice when we um, we finally take the stabilizer and we're back up to six. Although, wow, what crappy rolls, though. And today is not a good day to have crappy rolls because we're finally going to see what Feng wants us to do. When you enter the service dock, Feng is already set up, crouched among stacks of equipment. He is leaning over a terminal, bathed in a blue glow. He looks totally at home. Sleeper, what do you think? Turns out not everyone in Havenage is set against me. A couple of my old system pals managed to ship me some of my old gear. He gestures at the pile of blinking hardware. Nice kit. Feng, Feng does a mock bow. What are we looking at? One massive smoking gun. He raises his eyebrows. Feng beckons you over. He has a set of scans of the waste on his terminal, with heat maps of activity overlaid. A chunk of the derelict rim is blotchy with bright red and orange marks. Does this look like a wasteland to you? Feng shakes his head. There's hundreds of Conway machines out there, all lined up in concealed hangars, and a whole underground facility to support them. Harden has got a crew out there, uh, putting them together. They must have shipped them in piece by piece through the shipyard, ready for assembly out here. Why? They are planning something. No one needs hundreds of heavy, heavy duty reclamation drones to run this kind of operation. Maybe Harden masked his whole, this whole thing as an effort to clean up the wastes, but there's no way this is about pulling scrap off the eye. Feng looks worried. And why is Conway in the mix? I bet no one in Havenage knows another corporation is setting up in the station. 
They aren't stupid either. These scans are the best uh, uh, info I can get. The wastes are cut off from the eye's cloud of networks, and the greenway is a total dark zone. No data can come in or out. We can't hack them? We can't from here, he turns and winks. That's why I'm going to pay them a visit. How? You forget. Havenage come, come in and out of there. All cycle. I should be able to get in as long as no one I know sees me, he grimaces playfully. But I need you on the outside to help disable security systems and cut me a pathway through. There's no cloud access, but if I can get inside, I can open up nodes in their network and we can work in tandem. It's a massive facility, buried deep down there. Miles of corridor and ventway ventways wrapped around cargo bays and hangars, so it'll take more than a few cycles to work through it. But as long as you can keep them off my back, I know I can rip what we need out of there. Well, I just got my uh, stabilizer, so this is actually a great time to do that. He pulls a handful of ripper worms from his pocket and hands them to you. These are the last of my little helpers I managed to salvage. To make, so make them count. I modified them slightly. This time they'll feed their data threads back into the system that they are tunneling into. Um, creating a nasty little feedback loop. We run it just like we did with the agents. Hack the nodes, I ping to locate the ports for the security system, then slot the worms in those systems and let them go to town. He points to a fuzzy silhouette of the buried facility on the terminal. Here's the entryway. This is where you can get access and slot the first worm. That'll fry their perimeter systems and get me past the first call, uh, cordon. What I need from you is to keep your eyes on the facility after you kick things off. You see me pop up a security system, a server bank. You need to break in and slot a ripper to disable it as soon as you can. If I don't, Feng gives you a hard look. You miss the system, you wait too long, they're going to find me. Simple as that. He claps you on the shoulder. I need you focused on this one, so I'm going to let you fire the starting gun. I won't go until you sh slot that first worm. I'll leave a tracker running on the terminal here, so come back here if you want to see my progress. He affectionately pats the top of the screen. Got it. Don't worry. You can run rings around their protocols. I've seen it. Feng gets up. It's all in the. It's all in place. You just need to make your own preparations. Then slot that worm. He stretches. Just don't wait too long. I'm getting bored of all the sneaking around. Once I'm inside, I'll get the proof we need to end this whole thing. No matter what. He crouches to check the terminal. We can't take longer than six cycles on this thing. Remember that. Well, we can get started today, I think. He stands up. Oh, and one last thing. He lowers his voice. If I get caught, or you can't reach me, or we run out of time, there's one thing I need you to do. What? You take whatever I have managed to pull, pull at that point, all that data, and you slot that stuff straight into the relay I've set up here. He points to a pile of servers and, ter and terminals, hooked into the dock with cables as thick as your arm. I repurposed the dock's SOS broadcast system to beam out whatever you put in it. Anyone with a terminal or a slate or a server on the eye will see it. That means Havenage, yet again, the hub, everyone. No matter what, Harden isn't sneaking, snaking away this time. He grins. I've got a bit more to do here, but the moment you slot the first worm, I'll make my move. He gives you a parting smile and turns back to the terminal. The nerves hit you. Uh, the nerves hit as you make your way out of the service dock. Time to prepare yourself. Okay, well, I'm going to leave. Uh, I'm going to end the episode here. Nice, nice little cliffhanger because we are, um, you know, entering something fairly pe penultimate. Penultimate? Um... And uh, we're we're just about at the half an hour mark, and I'd like to I'd like to take a full episode to to do this properly. Uh, let me just confirm what it is I'm doing. Conway access, Greenway gate. I need uh, yeah I don't have what I need for that, um, so I guess it's the Conway access. Yeah, that's the one. All right, so if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.